Hello, I'm Dr. Gary Miller, president of the University of Akron, and it's my privilege to welcome you to this first virtual commencement ceremony of the University of Akron. The spring class of 2020 consisted of 2,436 candidates from 30 states, 41 countries, included 54 candidates for the doctorate degree, 121 for the Juris Doctorate degree, 358 master's degrees, and 1,685 for the bachelor's degree. Also, 218 for the associate's degree. The unprecedented circumstances wrought by the COVID-19 pandemic repeatedly delayed our attempts to arrange for an in-person event to honor these fine graduates. Members of the spring class of 2020 have patiently waited, but conditions prevented us from planning an in-person celebration. Therefore, we've prepared this virtual event to honor these deserving individuals. I now ask Mr. Joe Jingo, Chair of the University of Akron's Board of Trustees, to extend greetings on behalf of the board. Mr. Jingo. Graduates, you are the primary reason why this university exists, and we thank you for entrusting us with your higher education. You had many options from which to choose, and we sincerely hope your Akron experience has proven that you chose wisely. In addition to conveying our gratitude, we want you to know that we appreciate and applaud your accomplishments here. Through great effort and perseverance, you have seized opportunities to broaden and sharpen your thinking, expand your worldview, attain professional and personal growth, and become educated citizens. Now, you will have more and greater opportunities to thrive, to contribute, and to serve. My fellow trustees and I wish that the journey awaiting you will be filled with good health, good fortune, and continued success, and will, from time to time, lead you back here to your alma mater. Congratulations. I now invite you to enjoy this rendition of the University of Akron alma mater. Close beside Kailoga's waters, stream of amber It's my great pleasure to greet the University of Akron Spring 2020 graduates. When we moved to the face-to-face -face instruction to online learning this past March because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we hoped we'd be able to come together later in the spring to celebrate your great achievements and to thank family and friends who helped make those achievements possible. When it became clear we would not be able to hold spring commencement in April due to the pandemic, we said we would most happily include spring graduates in the winter commencement ceremony. Unfortunately, even though we see the light at the end of this long pandemic tunnel, we're still unable to celebrate in person. So as we have for the nearly nine months, we'll meet virtually today. Please know that this requirement that we celebrate remotely does nothing to diminish our great joy and pride in what you've achieved. Indeed, that you were able to complete your work in almost unimaginably difficult circumstances is evidence of your great determination, resilience, and courage. But you did not just complete work toward your degree. Many of you looked around and asked the question, how can I help others during this time of need. 
And there are many among you who used your skills as nurses, medical specialists, to assist healthcare workers in Akron and other cities around the country. You pitched in to encourage other students to finish their work and to serve. You assisted in contact tracing, very important. You joined with students at other universities developed to, to develop new medical technologies to assist with the pandemic. You continue to work to support yourselves and your families. You helped local educators develop curricula to encourage K through 12 students to complete their studies during the pandemic. You provided free service to nonprofit and government organizations to help people in need. You helped the university recruit the next class of ZIPs, and many of you continue to do very important research. For 150 years, ZIPs have risen together to get things done, give assistance, and make the world a better place. Your extraordinary accomplishments this past year, both in the classroom and beyond, will remain in the hearts of ZIPs from this time forward as the clearest demonstration of what we mean at Akron when we say, together we rise. Congratulations to all of you. Before we move on to the conferral of degrees, it is appropriate to hear from representatives of this class. These individuals have been nominated by the faculty to speak on behalf of the graduating class. Fellow graduates, congratulations. I know that we've all have very different paths to get to this point in our educational careers. We've all chosen different areas of study, different career paths to pursue, and we all involved ourselves differently at our university. However, from now on, there is one thing that we will always share in common, and that is that we were all graduates of the University of Akron. And on top of that, we graduated in a pandemic, nonetheless, that gave us quite the abrupt ending. And it seems like we've been talking about how unprecedented this has been for months. So I'm not here to give another speech on that. However, it is very unfortunate that we cannot be sharing this moment of celebration together in person. So I find joy in remembering the moments that I did share with my fellow Zips. And I invite you all to also reflect upon a person or a time that changed you at the University of Akron. Maybe it was a professor or a classmate that opened the doors to a career for you you never imagined. Maybe you were on a sports team and you remember practicing and playing for the Zips with your best friends. Maybe you were a band member and you will remember playing in front of crowds of fans alongside your bandmates. Maybe you joined a club you weren't so sure about, but it ended up becoming much more of a club to you. I could go on and on from big moments to small things in my mind, and I hope that you find you can too, because no matter how it all ended, our Akron experience will live on in the way that it made us who we are. And as we've already all been transitioning into the next phases of our lives and vastly different for each one of us, I feel such a sense of gratitude. And on behalf of my class, I cannot extend enough thank you to the entire university, faculty and staff, from professors to administrators to maintenance and janitorial staff. They are what make this university what it is. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And then personally, there's always people that come to mind that make a milestone like this possible. Thinking of my own experience, I think of my parents, my family near and far, all of my coaches, my teammates, my classmates, and my friends and they've given me endless amounts of support, and I feel beyond blessed to have them in my life, so thank you. Wishing you all so much success and happiness. I can't think of any better way to end this with once a zip, always a zip. Thank you. To the class of 2020, congratulations. What a journey it's been. What a year it's been. Commencement is a great time for reflection. Reflecting on how we've changed over the years. How have we grown? Who did we meet? What did we learn? The world around us has certainly changed, but so have all of us. One thing that has changed is that many of us have now entered the workforce or started pursuing higher education degrees. And this gives us a unique chance to increase the value of our diplomas. I think a common question especially for us business majors, is what is the true value of that degree that we earned? If you ask an accountant like myself, they'd probably value it at historical cost. 
an economist would throw in opportunity costs. And if you ask a finance major, they'll do some present value future cash flows calculation, and that's more math than I want to do. But the truth is, the value of our degree varies based on individuals' perceptions. And let me give you an example. From now on, whenever a resume from the University of Akron comes across our company's HR department's desk, they will not think about the accreditations Akron has or the quality of programs. They're going to think of us. We are their tangible representation of what it means to be an Akron Zip. So I challenge all of us to use the skills that we have developed over the years, our determination, our work ethic, our grit, this past semester proved we're adaptable. Showcase these skills in our work, in our schooling, in our family life, and we will increase demand for degrees from the University of Akron. Our final semester may have ended abruptly, but our Akron experience did not end in May. Our Akron experience continues for the rest of our lives. Over these past couple of years, we have grown together, learned together, laughed together, and this will continue as we continue to network and foster the relationships that we've formed. Each of us has left a distinct legacy on campus, and we will cherish the memories that we have forever. From the bottom of my heart, congratulations to each and every single one of you. The world around us will continue to change, but one thing is for certain, we all will always be forever a zip. Congratulations. Despite learning how to write and speak in front of people during my undergraduate career, I had a difficult time writing this speech. Nothing I wrote fit with the idea of speaking on behalf of my fellow graduates. I kept asking myself, what would everyone want to hear? But then I stopped and asked myself, what do I want to say? This year has had its fair share of challenges. From switching to online learning before graduation to losing loved ones to the pandemic, every one of us has faced new challenges. Despite this, here we are today celebrating one of life's biggest accomplishments and opening a new chapter. Whether that new chapter is landing your dream job, continuing your education, or taking a break to enjoy life our graduating class will forever be known as the class that pushed through challenges. So today, I want to pose one more challenge to my fellow graduates, one given to me in an honors colloquium called the Hero. After we leave today, I want everyone to save the world. Many of you are probably thinking, what do you mean save the world? Or I can't save the world. It took me a while to answer those questions myself, but here is one way to think of this. What can you do to save your world? For me, saving my world means spreading awareness about disabilities. For someone else, saving their world might be increasing donations for a food bank or writing letters to those in the local nursing home. The world is unique to each of us. So no matter what your world is, I encourage you to save it. Saving the world doesn't mean stopping a speeding bullet or being an Avenger. It just takes one small act of kindness and positivity to make a difference. Thank you and congratulations to the University of Akron 2020 graduating class. Dear graduating class of 2020, my name is Claudio Pena. It is once again an honor and a privilege to congratulate you on such an outstanding accomplishment. You're all a group of resilient individuals. This achievement is no small feat. I first want to thank God for allowing me to be here. For myself, this road has been full of obstacles. As a first generation immigrant from South America, I am grateful to have overcome language and cultural barriers. The University of Akron became a home for me for the last six years. It all began by a dream of working in the construction field as a young man. Growing up, 
I always had a passion of seeing homes being built around my community. The construction engineering technologies could not have been a better fit for myself. I never imagined that graduating would have been possible. My strategy was only to focus in one semester at a time. While pursuing my degree, I dropped out twice. I was discouraged and exhausted each of those times. Through that process, I learned that quitting was not going to be an option if I ever wanted this dream of graduating to come true. Many of us were in similar situations. However, through our journey, you find a way to success. There's a saying that it takes a village. Well, in my case, it took every bit of that. I was so fortunate to have a team of mentors at work, school, and in my community that were always there for me in the most difficult times. I want to thank my family and my wife for supporting me through all these years. To all of the professors, staff, and counselors, thank you for taking us with open arms and showing us the way from the beginning. Your outstanding hard work, trust me, does not go unnoticed. And finally, fellow graduates, as enlightened members of society, strive to make a difference in your community and in someone else's life. For now, go Zips and congratulations. Hello everyone, I'm Allie from the College of Engineering. Today we're celebrating our experiences at the University of Akron because I think I can speak for everyone when I say I'm a little bit tired of hearing about how abnormal or strange things have been recently. So it's time for us to take a positive path, just like we did when we first started at UA. Back when we were brand new Zips in this big school with all these people that we didn't know, it was kind of intimidating, but we chose to see the good in that situation and recognize this beautiful opportunity in front of us to learn and become the person that we always wanted to be. Now, it was really easy to recognize that as a good experience, but there were definitely some moments along the way that where it might not be so obvious that it was a good experience. And I think a really great example of that is when your whole class failed that one exam. You know the one, like it happens to everyone. And looking back on that, for me, I think about the first time that my class really came together and bonded over that struggle. And through that bonding, I was able to meet some of my best friends who are now the stars of my favorite memories, which is pretty cool. And while I'm talking about memories, I would like to remind you to take some time today to reflect on your own because they are really one of the most important parts of our time at UA is those good memories with our friends. Um, also on the topic of memories, here we are making a brand new one of our commencement, which is interesting not only because it's not in person, but also because it's kind of part two of our commencement. We kind of got two in a way. So we had our first one that was unofficial back in May when we chose to commence with our lives and get going with our jobs or go on to grad school. But now we have this like official commencement. So we have two commencements, which is kind of unexpected. Uh, another thing that's a little unexpected would, for me at least, <laughs> as I've been going through working for the past seven months, is that my procrastination habits through college really prepared me for being able to think on my feet in the workplace. And I think that's just another example of the many that I've already given of how even if we aren't aware that we're learning something or going through a good experience, we can look back on it later and view it as a good experience or a learning opportunity and be grateful that for that experience. So with that, I hope that you can look back on this commencement, second commencement, I don't know, commencement, because it's all kind of weird, and be optimistic and think about it as a good experience. I hope. I don't know if you will, but I hope so. Um, but what I do know is that we are all really well situated to get out there and get on with our lives because we did it seven months ago. So we're good to go. So congratulations on how much you've already accomplished and 
more importantly, congratulations on what you're going to accomplish because it's going to be great. Hello, my name is Dr. John Winsek, Executive Vice President and Provost at the University of Akron. It is my honor to participate in this recognition of degrees conferred upon all graduates in the spring class of 2020. To all students who successfully fulfilled the requirements of your respective degree programs at the University of Akron, with the approval of your college's respective deans and faculties, we now formally observe the conferral of your degree. Thank you, Dr. Winsick. Exercising the authority of the trustees of the University of Akron, legally vested by the people of the state of Ohio, and upon the recommendation of our faculty, I have conferred upon each of you who has fulfilled all the requirements, uh, the, the appropriate degree, with all the rights, privileges, duties, and responsibilities of that degree. Congratulations, graduates. I invite all viewers to watch the following list of graduates. In addition to viewing your particular friend or family member, you also may see others whom you know. Please take the time to contact them by social media, email, or phone call to extend your congratulations. Also, these graduates have now transitioned from students at the University of Akron to alumni. Therefore, the following the list of graduates, this ceremony will conclude with a welcome to the Alumni Association delivered by William Coleman, class of 2008 and 2010, and Assistant Vice President and Director of the Alumni Association. Thank you for viewing this first virtual commencement ceremony at the University of Akron.
Big shout out to the class of 2020. Happy holidays, guys. Fear the Rue and let's go Steelers.
Without you, this wouldn't be possible. I would like to thank my mom, my dad, my uncle, and my uncle's wife. Thank you guys for everything. I really appreciate every and each one of you. I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, and my grandma, as well as the rest of my family and my friends for supporting me the whole way through. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm proud to be a part of such a wonderful and historical graduating class. And as always, go Zips!
Congratulations, fellow alumni. You are now part of a larger family, a family made up of more than 180,000 alumni spanning the globe. We are national champions. We are business owners, award-winning writers, artists, educators, attorneys, engineers, scientists, and healthcare professionals. We are the Akron Blue and Gold, and we Zips are everywhere, and we take care of our own. As Executive Director, I extend to each of you an invitation to build and strengthen this common bond, to be active in the University of Akron Alumni Association. From recruiting new Zips to mentoring current ones, or by joining the Rue Crew, our alumni volunteer program. For there now exists among us an eternal linkage. Know that your achievements will add to the collective success of our institution, our community, our nation, and our world. On behalf of more than 180,000 alumni worldwide, I am pleased and very honored to welcome you as members of the University of Akron Alumni Association. Best wishes in all you do, fellow alumni, and go Zips!